Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and all our social media platforms at Fino Boxing. You can follow my personal social media at Adriana underscore sports. I, I heard that Bob Arum said that if you guys were to bid on the Triller fight that it would complicate things for the Anthony Joshua Tyson Fury. So did things com did things get complicated? No, I mean, it's, the, it's a frustrating pro. We're, we're in a really good place with Fury Joshua at the moment, you know, and there'll be an announcement in the coming days. We're, everyone's on board. Um, it was a really bad thing to say, you know, and it was like, the thing is with Bob, I respect Bob because what he's achieved in boxing is unbelievable. But unfortunately, Bob doesn't care anymore. He, he doesn't care what he says. And I don't think he really cares for the fighters that much anymore. And I think that's, I think their fighters understand that, you know. And I think it's, it's just the case. This is my opinion, and if you don't like it, off you go. And that's not the way to treat great fighters, great champions. People want to feel like superstars. People want to be loved. I know, you know. We've got fighters that they, they, they want... It's a bit like Canelo. You know, Canelo right now feels like a million dollars. Attention to detail, the ring walks. He feels like a star. They love it. And Teofimo Lopez deserves to be treated like a star. Not, that's the money you're getting. If you don't like it, off you go. Someone else can pay it. That's not, and the same with Crawford. Why would I pay this guy? I can buy a new house in Beverly Hills for that kind of money. Wrong thing to say. But you have to, but Bob's speaking his mind and his heart. So you can only respect it. But it's just, <laughs> it's just a bad look. You know, um, but like I said, Bob's a legend, fantastic promoter, and he's 89, he's nearly 90, isn't he? So, you know, big respect to him, he's going to do things his way. And I could never knock people that act from the heart. You say that you guys are close to yes. announcing the Anthony Joshua Tyson Fury. How about now? How about now? I, we have we have the camera. We've been going around getting all these these signatures, and we're we're really close now. Um, you know, the process is to get everybody on board, get everyone signed up, and then go and complete the venue deal. So we're in the process now of speaking to venues and sites to lock that in, but the ink's nearly dry on that one. So I can't give it to you now, but stand by. Well, we definitely saw Anthony Joshua. Uh, he looked great against his rematch against Andy Ruiz, and he looked uh, even better. Uh, we saw a whole different set of skills against Pulev. Um, he has what it takes to take the undefeated out of uh, Tyson Fury then. I believe so. I believe so. I think that uh, Joshua has the win in this fight. I don't like the energy from Fury at the moment. You know, he's a bit sort of miserable and feels he should have boxed in December. And, you know, pump yourself up. Get ready for the biggest fight in boxing. And I'm really confident in Anthony. He's been working solid from December. I believe he's going to knock Tyson Fury out. I really do. And uh, hopefully we can get that announced, you know, in due course. And we can give you the biggest fight in boxing.